YouTube channel, $900 Luxury Yacht. Today's episode, putting a storage compartment in the bow of my dinghy. The first thing I'm going to do is turn on power to the winch that raises and lowers the dinghy. The winch is attached to the frame that holds the solar panels. And the frame was extended to the back of the boat in order to allow it to hold the winch as part of the original design of the solar panel rack. So the first thing I have to do is to use this winch to get the dinghy off of the boat. So I've lifted it off of the dinghy holders that are on the dive platform. And the next obstacle is to push the dinghy outward so I can lower it past the dive platform without it hanging up on that. just it. It is just that easy to pick up and lower the dinghy now that I have this winch to help me. So this is the hatch. It's a regular deck hatch. You can get them all sorts of different sizes. This was picked out to be about the biggest standard deck catch that would fit this area of the front of the dinghy. There is that little black access right in front of where I'm kneeling. But it was pretty small and I wanted to fit things in this big area of dead space that wouldn't fit through that little round black access hatch things like an anchor for the dinghy and the anchor road for it and I also got running lights for the dinghy that run on batteries but they can be put in a Ziploc baggie and stored in this compartment as well. There's room for life jackets which in the United States are a requirement that you have on the boat for everybody so even if I was to use the dinghy just to row a hundred feet to shore technically I would need to have a life preserver for myself on the boat and so I can store a couple of extra life preservers in this compartment and then I don't have to worry about finding them and putting them on the dinghy every time I'm going to leave the boat. So this is a very useful storage area that normally wouldn't be available on this boat. This is an Oliver boat, by the way. It's really nice. Um, the entire boat is made out of high-density polyethylene plastic. And it's pretty much indestructible and had some foam in it that would prevent it from sinking completely. I put a lot more extra flotation foam in the dinghy, which I'm not sure was necessary. That might have been a mistake because it added some extra weight to the dinghy, which wasn't absolutely necessary and made it a bit heavier than it had to be. So my first cut where I traced the inside of the hatch and tried to cut just outside the line was still a little bit small. So I'm going to ruin my careful measuring job of centering the hatch and cut just a little bit more away from two sides of the hole. It 
it's important to work from a smaller hole to a bigger one because there isn't a lot of extra flange area available to hide rough edges on the hatch. So with that extra bit of trimming, I can verify that the hatch now fits in the hole that I've cut for it. And here I am pre-drilling holes for screws that will hold the hatch in place. It helps a lot to pre-drill the holes so that the screw gets a good bite. I'm using 5200 adhesive. Nothing really sticks to high density polyethylene. This is about the strongest marine grade sealant that I know of, so I'm using it here. I'm really not sure if it's going to stick to the polyethylene or not, but it seemed like it was a little bit better than nothing, so I used the 5200. Now, I will admit to another step that isn't in this video. Here I'm screwing straight into the high density polyethylene. And that holds the hatch in place fairly well. I saw, <coughs> excuse me, that the plastic did flex a little bit around the hatch if I sat there. So I took some furring strips and pulled these screws out later and put furring strips underneath each side and then screwed through the plastic and into the wood furring strips. And that stiffened up the installation quite a bit, although I didn't have any video recorded of that step. So. I figured I would mention that in case anyone else decided to copy this. The wood as a backer to where the screws go through the plastic is a real good idea. It, it makes this a lot more solid. And so now there's this nice storage space in the front of my dinghy where I can have an anchor, an anchor road, life jackets, um, the running lights for the dinghy. There's even room for a picnic lunch if I want. So a nice addition to the Oliver boat. That foam there prevents things from sliding underneath the floor of the dinghy where they'd be hard to retrieve. And check out these other videos from my channel.